Then what's your advice to these small business founders today? Uh, work hard. You're going to need some luck, but the harder you work, the luckier you get. And if it doesn't work out, that's not the end of the world. I, I just don't have anything in common with people that sit there and say, oh, my God, it was terrible. It was terrible. It's, over, it's water uh, over the dam, under the bridge. Get on with it and start another business the next day or another career. And be honest. Look in a mirror and say, why didn't it work out? Well, it wasn't the skill set or it wasn't I didn't have the temperament for it or I was in the wrong place, wrong time. Uh, maybe I can afford to do it again. Maybe I can't. But people aren't honest with themselves. They, what I've always done is I've taken a yellow pad, I draw a line down the middle, write out the pros on one side, the cons on another, in a sense that if I let you see it, you wouldn't laugh at me. And then when I get done, I just rip it up and throw it away because I've worked out in my mind what is real and what isn't and what I can present to people and what I can't. Then, Lloyd, when you look at mistakes, is there something, is there a piece of advice you wish you got as you were climbing up the ranks? Look. Yes, I wish I, I had gotten the advice not to be intimidated, to understand, to break all the myths that are out there that you have you to learn. You were once intimidated? Uh, yes. And I, by the way, it's not a, it's not a um, listen, it's not a vice. It's not a bad thing to be intimidated if instead of paralyzing you, it forces you to prepare, to over-prepare, to rehearse, to try to get it right, to go back and review one more time. I don't think that that's a, I don't think it's a bad thing. But if it paralyzes you, if it intimidates you from going on, then it's a bad thing. I think one of the, one of the things that I've learned and I think that uh, the mayor sees clearly is how terrific these people all are. They're fantastic. You would think that the people that we talk today, the couple of dozen people that we spoke today were from Central Casting. The 3,500 people that we've already brought through this program could all be like that, can all substitute. And very often the best thing that we can do for them is break the myth bubble that they can't do something, that it's hard to do something. And what this program has done for people is it's given them kind of a little mini MBA. They get to hear stories of other entrepreneurs, but they learn a little bit about accounting, how to negotiate, how to make a business plan. They hear experiences for others. And slowly but surely, it takes away the mythology and they say, oh my goodness, I can't do what that person has done, to instead saying, I can do what that person has done. You didn't say how to sell. How, is, how important is it to have salesmanship. You could have the best idea in the world. I don't know of any business where sales isn't a big part of it or cooperation and collaboration isn't a big part of it. I suppose if you're a monk and have a vow of silence, maybe. But an author, for example, you've got to work with an editor, you've got to talk to your publisher, and you have to deal with your family. And it's, they're all, it, this is a world, and I think it's good, where you don't do anything by yourself. Nobody just works for one person or just works for themselves. Nobody does anything independently. We deal, and, and with, whether it's your family or your uh, uh, outside life, your business life, or, or whatever. Do you think yeah. that's today more than ever to be part of a collaborative environment? I mean, back in the day on Wall Street, it seemed like it was a survival of the fittest. I'm trying to elbow any other guy out there. I think everybody always has to collaborate uh, for, you know, forever. Um, listen. It's not the be-all and end-all. You could be a tough, difficult person and get ahead, but you better be really, 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 really good at other things. Same thing with being meek versus being an, uh, a sales personality. Um, you can be, um, you, you don't have to be the salesiest personality, but you better be really, really, really good if you're going to rely on the world beating a path to your door. Yeah, I, I don't remember being in a competitive world where I wanted to beat the person next to me. If you wanted to advance, you worked hard. And I grew up in a family where hard work was just, wasn't expected, it's just the way it was. You, you never know? wanted to beat your competition? No, I want to be successful. You said teammates versus competition. Right. I mean, I, but, but, I mean, at Solomon Brothers all those times, I, you work with other people. One of the ways, incidentally, Stephanie, to really get ahead is to give credit to somebody else. When I say, oh, I didn't do it, Lloyd did that, and he involved me, let me tell you. I'm telling everybody it's me as well, but I've now made a friend, and you respect me because I've shared the credit. And if you say, no, me, 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 I, 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 um, nobody likes you, and nobody respects you, and they think you are exaggerating everything. But to the extent you give credit to elsewhere, the thought of, are they exaggerating doesn't even come up.